Good night. Good night. One, two. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, one, two. We clear, Randy. We clear, Randy. One, two. Testing one two one two one two one two
Auto. One, two. Started in 2016 and had a break for COVID, but now 
As we, as we get ready, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, mic check, one, two, yep, right, so we're gearing up for the action in the middle, we're going to take this opportunity to mention the sponsors once again, Smalls Record Services, Marks Auto Spares, a and a Auto Parts and Accessories, Copper Steel Bar, Blakey's Bar and Restaurant, Sugar Sean Enterprises, Fusion Boutique, Rosdy Gen Catering Delights, and RB Irrigation, RB Irrigation and Plumbing. Clear Smith 11 Voyagers, the Clear Smith 11 Voyagers, sponsored by MJA Distributions, Playmore, Marquez and Garden Maintenance, and Pina Cups. And of course, the Ox and them Dolphins, they're sponsored by Everton and Buffett and Company, Debs Bar, Kenroy's Hideaway, Pump Up Farming and Produce Limited. Welder and Engineering Maintenance Services, East DJs, Cappy Sells Everything, Swift Express Cargo, and Imhotep Sewing Services. Once again, thank you to all the sponsors coming on board, making this competition the success that it has been here in 2024. And we look forward for your continued support in the 2025 edition. We absolutely have to thank the ground staff for preparing another fantastic looking surface for this all important final and it promises to be an exciting one two very exciting teams two young teams as well skin sixers and the thomas towards travelers this one should be very very exciting so ladies and gentlemen as we await the umpires to go out we want you to sit back relax enjoy some fantastic cricket and once again, remember that it's very important to keep your eyes on the cricket. We are playing with a hard ball, so we don't want anyone to be injured tonight. And we also want the players from both teams to come off the field uninjured and produce some entertaining cricket. As the umpires and the players make their way into the middle now. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the, dream, the game will be streaming live.
Yes, you can go on YouTube and type in anything cricket. Let's talk. And you will be able to stream the game alive. We have a series of cameras set up around the ground. And you will get some different angles as well. So, the batsmen making their way into the middle. So, we're just about ready for this big final. Thomas Towers Travelers up against the Skin Sixers. So the opening batsman in the middle for the Thomas Towers Travelers is Zachary McCaskey and Kevin Stout. Looks like Matthew Jones will be operating from the northern of the ground. The left arm spinner. So, the umpires are signaling. So, Matthew Jones, delivery worked into the onside. That is a single there to Zachary McCaskey. So, we're off and running. The Thomas Stewart Travelers, they won the vote loss. Jones. To ball to Kevin Stout on this occasion, getting the short of a length delivery. Pushing this one back to the bowler. There is no. Check. Delivery pushed in the offside. There's no run. Two without loss here and over number one. This delivery is hit high in the air. A big shot straight back over the bowler's head. And Zachary McCaskey to pick up the first six of this big final. One, two, check. One, one, one. One, two. One, two. Thank you. 
So we're about to start over number two. Mic check, mic check. Yes, so my co commentator here tonight, none other than the man DTP. Anticipating a fantastic game here. Yes, indeed, 002. Very competitive teams here lining up at the rice is over. I can tell you, 00, the pitch looks fantastic. Immaculate condition. It looks like a lot of runs out there. As Kimar Hart will be coming in from the southern end of the ground. This delivery is going down the leg side. So it's nine without loss here in over number two. Slip in position for Kimar Hart. The skin sixers looking to pick up some early wickets. Short of a length delivery ball coming off the inside edge, going down to the field at that short fine leg position. There is no run. So there's a third man in position as well. There's a backward point. There's a cover, extra cover mid off. There's a short mid on and a deep square leg on the boundary. And that filler inside is a circle at that fine leg position. Nine without loss as we continue here in over number two. Full length delivery driven back to the bowler. There's no run. So I'm sure the Thomas Torres travelers will be happy to get back Kevin Stout and Zachary McCaskey in the lineup for the first time after doing national duties. So Stout needing to replace his back. Seems like the handle is gone on this occasion. Don't forget to mention he's the only man to score 100 in this year's competition, Kevin Stout. Yes, a fantastic knock that was. Valder Clark getting very close, but unable to get over the line. So Hart. Full length delivery there on that occasion, and uh, the appeal went up. So it remains nine without loss. Lovely crowd building here at the races ground. I can tell you, W, we've been having some very good crowds throughout the competition. And tonight, the grand final, I'm expecting to see even bigger spectators following. Absolutely. This one is hit high in the air. It goes over the long on the region. And what a lovely shot that is there from Captain Kevin Stout to pick up the second six of the innings as he now moves on to I make it seven. And the Thomas Stores Travelers, they're going along quite nicely at the moment. They're 15 without loss here in over number two. Yes, indeed. And as I, as I always say, Double O, they need to capitalize in the first six overs, the power play. They need to get off to a very good start. Yes, that's absolutely important. They want about first here and, and post a sizable total. Full length delivery from Hart pushed into the outside. They get you for a single. That's good rotation of strike there by Stout to bring McCaskey back on strike. Face up to Kimar Hart for the first time. It's now 16 without loss. If one delivery left in the over. And it's so very important to rotate the strike, you know, timer. Keep that scoreboard ticking over and making the bowlers have to use different tactics against different batters. Yes, indeed. You don't want to be facing too many top balls, you know, in this format of the cricket. Here's Hart. Full length delivery pushed into the extra cover region. There is no run, so that's the end of over number two. And the Thomas Torres Travelers being sent into bat. They are 16 without loss.
Delivery pushed into the offside. There's no run. Jones is maintaining a nice tight line there on that off stump. And producing a dot ball to start over number three. Full left delivery driven firmly to the field at that middle off position. They thought of going through for a single, but decided against it. Ashina is doing the feeling at that middle off position. Still a slipping position, looking for the outside edge of Stout. Delivery pushed into the offside. There is no run. Doesn't seem to be any turn at the moment. The ball is still quite new. Stout goes back, punching this one off the back foot. Fantastic piece of feeling there at that cover point position. As the batsman get through for a single. Looks like Devon Phillips in that region. Yes, so good feeling again by the Sixers. They've been feeling quite well as well, double O. Full left delivery driven over the infield on the outside. The ball goes into the long off boundary for four. For a boundary off the bat of Zachary McCaskey as the score now moves into the 20s. It's now 21 without loss here in over number three. Good left delivery coming back on the money there is Matthew Jones with a much tighter line on that occasion as over number three has now been completed. And the Thomas Torres Travers being asked about in this big final of the Oi Buffett T20 tournament. They are 21 without loss. So it will be key my heart to continue from the southern of the ground. 20 wonderful losses to score. He'll be bowling to Kevin Stout. Short of a left delivery and cut into the point region. Good tumbling stop there by Corey Miller. As the batsman they trot through for another single to push the score on to 22 without loss. Just started over number four. So a change of feel. The third man coming inside the 30 yard circle and a long one going into position. As Zachary McCaskey comes back in the strike, he's on 11 off seven deliveries. Kevin Stout, he's on 10 from 12. The third man now going back on the boundary from McCaskey and coming inside the circle. The bit on. Here's Hart. Full left delivery works into the onside, bringing that deep square leg feeler into, pos into play. And a run to the score will make it now 23 without loss. So Kevin Stout settles once again. Batsman's right on the pad. They go through for a single chance for a run at the non strikers end. The ball going all the way down to the long on origin as the batsman come back for a second run. So, no single from the umpire. So, the ball coming off the inside edge of the bat. So, a couple of runs there to Kevin Stout. Take his contribution on to 12. Of 13 deliveries, the score is now 25 without loss. Yes, so run out chance there created. Phillips unable to make the direct throw in the batsman being able to come back for two. Yes. 
It's full length delivery outside the line. The also going through the wicket keeper. The batsman will cross for a run. So by signal. So the score moves up by one to make it now 26 without loss. Bit of sloppy work there by Reval the Clark on that occasion. Yes, indeed. The ball bouncing just in front of him, unable to take it cleanly. But a good start here, nevertheless, from the Thomas Tours Travelers. Two experienced batsmen at the crease, McCaskey and Stout. Here's so. Hart. This one is whipped sweetly into the onside. This will run very close to the boundary. It goes into the boundary right about now. So getting a little bit too straight on that occasion is Kima Hart and Zachary McCaskey taking full advantage of that one and picking up a boundary in the mid-wicket region. He moves on now to 16. And the total is up to 30 without loss. Good start here by the Thomas Torres Travelers. Yes, indeed. A very good shot there by McCaskey. Ball angling on the pads. He's just whipping that one away and picking up a very classy boundary. And I can tell you, he's wonderful on the eye. Just a real touch player, Zachary McCaskey. As this delivery is hit straight back over the bowler's head. A lovely shot once again from Zachary McCaskey. And another boundary, back-to-back -back boundaries here to end over number four. And the Thomas Torres Travelers being sent into bat. The 34 without loss. So it will be Matthew Jones to continue. This one worked into the onside. They get you for a single to start over number five. The score now 35 without loss. And with that single, Kevin Stout moves on to 13 of 15 deliveries. I can tell you, double O, one thing we've been witnessing. Teams have been getting off the 
quite good starts with, within the power play. And tonight, the Thomas Stowe's Travelers, they have been doing that. Jones into McCaskey, cut straight to the man at point. There's no run. Yes, and these two doing a very good job for this side so far. 35 of outlaws to score. So a bit of a field adjustment. Man coming in the mid wicket area. Jones. That one is it high. Who wants it? The field that settles. He drops it. Oh my word. He settled under that one since yesterday. He looked so confident, double O. And in the end, unable to hold on. And I can tell you, catches have been very, very costly here at the races going in this year's competition. Yes, absolutely. We saw some five catches going down in the semi-final game. And another one there on that occasion. How costly could that be? Zachary McCaskey getting a life on 20. A couple of runs take him on to 22. So Jones in once more into both of McCaskey. Back and pushing that one. Up to the bowler. Top ball. Double it was a relatively easy catch in the end. As the ball went high in the night sky, the fielder got under it and you expect them to actually hold on to those catches. Jones in a short of length delivery. Bit of a fumble there by the fielder at that point position, but good recovery in the end. No run. It remains 37. 37 without loss. One delivery is left in over number five. Short of a length delivery. Good end to the over there for Matthew Jones. His third over. Just three runs coming off that over. And uh, Thomas Torres Travelers being asked about first. They are 37 without loss. So bowling change from the southern end. Looks like Giovanni de Pisa coming into the attack. The score 37 without loss. This is the start of over number six. So short without looking to pull that one away. Unable to make a connection. So the Pisa be looking to get his captain a wicket. The deep mid wicket, square leg, sharp fine leg, backward point, cover, extra cover. The Pisa in the ball to stop and he's driving that one straight back down the ground. The fielder comes around, they think about two. And they will get to quite easily in the end. So those couple of runs taking the score into 39 without loss. The Pisa continues. Delivery outside the line of the awesome stout. Looking to chop that one down behind the point region. Goes into the glove of Verbal de Clark. 39 without loss. Current run rate is 7.09. As it looks like a short third man coming into position now. Matthew Jones will be doing the, the duties. Anxiously awaiting the big final of the Oil Rafferty 20. Short of a length and a back foot punch over the long off region. It goes all the way for six. A fantastic piece of batting there by Captain Kevin Stout. 
as Himo moves on to 21 with that stroke. The score is up to 45 without loss and showing how good the surface is for batting. Very good shot there by Stout, continuing his good form. He's been carrying that all through this year's tournament. So I work down behind square. They feel like that short fine leg position, keeping it to just a single. So the total now up to 46. It's 46 without loss. One delivery left in the power play. Worked into the onside by McCaskey to pick up another single. So the over has been completed. That's the end of the power play. Six overs. Done and dusted. The Thomas Towers Travers being asked about by the Skin Sixers. They are 47 with a loss. So Matthew Jones will be continuing from the northern of the ground to bowl his fourth and final over as he comes in to bowl. This delivery pushed into the offside, nicely driven by McCaskey to pick up another single. Score moves on now to 48 without loss. As I say, good night to the man Sean Gunsmoke Bruffett in the commentary booth. Well, good night to Rices and good night to Randy. And uh, certainly... The Skin Sixers and the Thomas Torres Travelers looking to give an exciting game here tonight. Absolutely, and the Travelers, they're up to the task. Really good start by them. They're 48 without loss. Short delivery there to Stout. Punching that one off the back foot down to the sweeper once again. To well, Stout, Stout and McCaskey, Randy, they want to continue to build a partnership for the Thomas Torres Travelers and uh, certainly set the foundation for the other batters to come. Absolutely. Short ball pulled into the onside. The fielder comes around, the catch is taken. And that's the end of Zachary McCaskey looking to pull that one over the mid-wicket region. And the catch is taken there at the longer region. Keep my heart doing the work. And they lose their First, continue to build a partnership for the Thomas Torres Travelers and uh, certainly set the foundation for the other batters to come. Absolutely. Short ball pulled into the onside. The fielder comes around, the catch is taken. And that's the end of Zachary. Thomas Torres Travelers losing their first wicket at 49. Yes, they were going along quite nicely indeed. But they'll still be pleased with the efforts of their opening batters. The new batsman coming to the crease. It looks like a Talbot Buffett, is it? A lovely crowd on hand for this final. We only expect it to get bigger as the night progresses. So Gunsmoke, the Sixers did exactly what they really wanted to do to break that opening partnership. Now that they've done that, they'll try to see if they can pick up maybe another quick one as Jones. The ball to Bruffett. This delivery striking the batsman on the pad, appeal for LBW. Not out, says the umpire. It remains 49 for the loss of one. A close call there just now, and a tab. Now coming to the crease, now looking to build on his in it. And Matthew Jones uh, really have a bag of tricks, and that was a quicker one on that occasion. Delivery short of a length, pushed into the offside. 
Another dot ball. So over number seven have now been completed. And that's Matthew Jones, four over spell. He's bowled four overs, no maidens, picked up that crucial wicket for 18 runs. And the Thomas Torres Travelers, they're 49 for the loss of one. So, the Pisa, to continue, he'll be bowling Kevin Stout. As the Pisa in from the southern end, it was a delivery to Stout, and Stout is driving, driving well out towards sweep on the boundary. They'll get a single. So, you can clap for that. That's the 50 up. The 50 up for the Thomas Tours Travelers. Uh, 50 for one in open market. That 50 coming off 44 deliveries, 30 minutes at the crease. Three fours and three sixes. So the piece of the country. Batsman is turning this up towards Twitter. So one. As <coughs> delivery goes into the third man boundary for four. So 54 for one. We're in the course of eight. Over number eight. And uh, the Thomas Tours travelers will be looking to press on here. If Stout, he is. He's there on four, and uh, Graffit is there on four. Four, fifty-four. Fifty-five for one. I've seen a bone delivery. We've stuck up to the shorter line.
So here he is, in a delivery to Stout, square for So nurse would want to come in the attack and keep the screws on this Thomas Torres Traveler's side. As he is into to Braffitt, Braffitt gets the deliveries on the back foot, punching it back to nurse, there is no run. It was going to be a very interesting passage of play here with two experienced players versus each other. Here is Nurse again in a balls of delivery. Outside the Austin is Braffitt swinging and missing, slashing up that delivery outside the Austin. Here's Nurse again. To bowl to Braffitt in. A bowl to Braffitt. Slow delivery turn. Looking to turn that one down. Behind square, but it went down leg side. Wide signal by the umpire. So 63 for one. Nurse. Again, in to bowl to Braffitt. And Braffitt is forward. Pushing back at Nurse. There is no run. A very interesting time for Nurse to come into the attack. He'll have a big role to play tonight with the ball for sure. As nurse from the sudden end in and both delivery. And Buffer is back and pushes them down behind square. They'll get one. Will they come up for a second? A man is on to it pretty quickly. So they prevent, he prevents the second. Yes, a good return to the wicket keeper as well. Good service. So the score moving up by one. It's 64 for the loss of one. So here's nurse. And the Thomas Torres Travelers batting first. There are 65 for the loss of one. I'll take this opportunity to mention the sponsors once again of the Oi Buffett T20 tournament. And those sponsors being Smalls Record Services, Marks Auto Spares, AMA Auto Parts and Accessories, Copper Still Bar, Blakey's Bar and Restaurant, Sugar Show and Enterprises, Fusions Boutique, Rosdigen Catering Delights, and of course, RB irrigation and plumbing. A delivery from Bradford is punched up towards our cover. Get a single. So 66 for one and over number 11. So the Sixers at the moment looking to contain. The batsman here of the Thomas Torres Travelers, 66 for the loss of one win over number 11. Here is Braffitt into both the but short delivery. That's under it. Uh, good bump occasion from Brian Braffitt. 
Yes, good aggression there by the young man. Just asking a Talbert Buffett, his name's it really, to not be peeping at him so often and so comfortable. But Randy, could you tell me the similar thing? And a Talbert So, a delivery driven out towards uh, the sweep on the boundary. So, uh, Tepper Bradford being a leading batsman in the 2023 edition local domestic cricket. He's had a really good year and he's a good player, Tepper Bradford. Plays some delightful strokes when he's on sound and he'll want to really get into some work here tonight to propel his team's innings. To a very competitive score. Maybe something in the region of 180 by them first. So here's Brathwaite as he makes a delivery to Stout Punch out towards backward point. The field is on to a return. Comes in not strongly enough though to effect a run out. But he'll get a single. Because he really made Kevin Stout push there on that occasion. That looks like Devon Phillips. But getting home comfortably in the end. 68 for the loss of one as we continue here in over number 11. Current run rate 6.38. Short delivery once again from Zion Buffett to a Talbert Buffett. Ball went through to be taken by the keeper. So Kevin Stout is on 30. From 31 deliveries. I thought about Rafa is on 9 from 15 deliveries. Zion Rafa, the right hand seamer. Short delivery outside the line of the all stump. As an appeal went up to the umpire for caught behind. Not out, says the umpire. Thurbert Bradford is on nine from 15 deliveries. Zion Bradford, the right hand seamer. Short delivery outside the line of the Austin. So 68 for the loss of one. So delivery pulled into the onside. Uh, another single to Kevin Stout. He moves on now to... 31 with that single, and the score is up to 69 for the loss of one. At the start of over number 12. 69 for one, your favorite number. <laughs> Here's Nurse. Ball to Braffitt. Delivery shot into the short mid wicket region. There's a feeler in that position. So no run. Punch off the back foot, square of the wicket to. Pick up another single for a Talbert Buffett and Gunsmoke, these two looking to put together a partnership. This partnership now worth 21. You'll need to go some distance with this one. Yes, I agree with that to build a, a, par a partnership, but not have different ideas. So another crucial dot ball. Looking to punch this one off the back foot. A bit officially to the outside, but in the gap. And uh, another run to Captain Stout. As he moves on now to 32, the score is up to 71 for the loss of one. Nurse. Delivery struck down behind square. They'll get one, feel a diving, tumbling stop 
down there to prevent the ball from going into the boundary. So good piece of feeling there, Randy, on that occasion. Yes, absolutely. That was traveling quite quickly and I feel it down there. Putting in the, the dive to prevent it from going over the rope. Saving two runs there for his side as over number 12 now comes to an end. It's 73 for the loss. Oh. different batsman here tonight. Yes, he's playing the captains, not here. And as I was saying earlier, Gunsmo, he's been very consistent in this year's competition. Only man to have scored 100. Yeah. The batsman out, Zachary McCaskey, he went for 24. And the lone wicket taker, Matthew Jones. So, lots of spin in this inning so far. As uh, the Pisa. A delivery outside the Austin to stop wide signal by the umpire. Yes, gun small. The crowd built nicely. A delivery from the and stout is it as one over long off into the boundary for says a lovely shot there from on the occasion. Yes, gun small. That's the man in front hitting that one straight. You are straight gun smoke. You can't go around into the sight screen. And with that, the score moving up to 80. So here's the pizza. A delivery outside the Austin. And stop. As a delivery pushed out towards that punk region. You'll get one across. Quick return, but a Talbot Prophet was up to the task. So, running there in the end by these two. Looks sharp in from backward point.
prophet, and he be ready to attack the prophet. So the prophet, 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 and the first prophet. It's a lot of that. I'm going to live outside the house, and I'm going to Makes his way in a past the empire to both to become. So the buzz is around the ground. The excitement is building quite nicely, I can tell you that. Here's Nurse to both to become. And we come as back and kindness one. Don't worry.
partnership of 22. 110 for the last of two. As nurse, lovely, lovely. Oh my word, Captain Ritter. Can't you believe it, Rand? Timer. That's a very, very good shot there by Kevin Wickham. Improvising gun smoke. Getting a much needed boundary. As now it's in the boat of it. About towards Medvedic. And it's very hard and into the boundary. But jump from the young man. He's going after Ashley Nurse here. And Nurse likes a challenge. And he's got his challenge. So I can tell you, Guns Moore, it's that time of the innings. It's the time where they need to push on, actually. The current run rate is 7.5. So Wickham, he has it all to do. Here is Nurse, into both of Wickham. And Wickham gets a delivery and it is well. Playing this one down behind Square. They'll get one, and they're coming back for the second. And return comes in. Oh, Daira hit! Come to believe it! Is he warm or is he not? So we're waiting for a decision. Oh my word, guys, what that's beautiful cricket there by the man on the deep square leg boundary. Lots of people thinking that he's been run out from the direct throw, but the umpire says different. And Kevin Wickham, he's still there. And at the end of over number 16, folks, the Thomas Store Stranglers, they're 122 for two. you believe it? So it looks like Kima Hart comes back into the attack to bowl the 17th over as Hart to bowl to Buffett. In bowls to Buffett. Buffett is forward. Oh, one goes down towards the white third man. They'll get one of the the legs. Yes, it does. So four runs. They're dealing in boundaries now. The runs are coming a bit quicker this time. They're really going after the bowling. 126 for two. One twenty-six for two. So profit settles. He is on thirty-six. Wickham on nineteen. Hart into both of Buffett. Buffett is driving and driving well uh, through extra cover and into the boundary for a lovely shot from Adelbert Buffett. He leaned into that one and drove that through extra cover into the boundary for a lovely shot. And Buffett is coming into his own. And this is the Adelbert Buffett I know. And uh, the score rushes on to 134 to win over number 17. Started, up, started out a bit slowly, gun smoke, but he's picking up momentum. Here in the back end of the innings, a Talbert Buffett, and he's going along quite nicely. So he and Wickham, they need to see it across the line. And I still think Gunsmoke, they need to get up to about 180 or so. Because we, we see the punch that the Skin Sixers team have. So yep. 180 or so should be competitive. Hard. Into ball to Buffett once more. That one is hit high. The fielder settles. Will he take the catch? Yes, he does. So in the end, a Talbert Buffett, he's lost his wicket, caught on the deep cover boundary. The Thomas Stores losing their third wicket, the score, 130. Copy that. The Skin Sixers team have so 180 or so should be competitive. Hard into ball to Buffett once more. That one is hit high. The fielder settles. Will he take the catch? Yes, he does. So in the ladies in the place.
La Trail Greenwich goes to the Chris. Azir's heart to bowl to Greenwich. In a to Greenwich and Greenwich gets the delivery. Comes off the edge, goes down towards third man and goes into the boundary for four. Four welcome run. So 134 for three over number 17 being bowled by Kima Hart. Greenwich is on strike as here is Hart. Makes his way in uh, to bowl to Greenwich. And Greenwich gets a delivery and punches this one. Down towards Long On. They get a single. So 135 for three. Projected score 160. It's all happening here. Hart. The ball to Vickham. This is a short third man point. As here is uh, Hart. The ball to Vickham. And Vickham is, oh my word. Square driving up one into the boundary for four. A lovely shot from Kevin Megan. He's so classy. And he looks so easy. Time on. Yes, and he's showing his class, Kevin Wickham. And he moves on up to to win. 23 over costing 17 gun smoke. So a very good over there for the Thomas Torres Travelers. And they've moved on up to 139 for three at the end of over number 17. Because at this stage, Greenwich and Wickham are really looking good after the ball, and they've been doing it so fine. Yes, indeed. They really need to get on with it now, Gunsmoke. Last five overs costing 66 runs for the loss of two wickets. So Miller into ball to Greenwich. Coming off the edge, passing the keeper hand into the boundary for four. So Latrell Greenwich, he continues. He moves on to nine. Kevin Wickham, he's still there. He's on 23. And I can tell you, folks, this is time to get on with it. The Thomas Stores Travelers. The time of this is really happy hour. And uh, Greenwich and uh, Wickham, they're going after the bowling. And uh, uh, swing and a miss. And uh, Corey Miller coming into the town. I know he has a knack for picking up wicket. Oh, at this stage, with these two batsmen looking to go, uh, I think it will be a challenge. Yes, indeed. He usually picks up wickets, Gunsmoke. That's so true. He brings a lot of variety to the ball and attack. A bit surprised he's been brought in so late, to be honest. But yes, I was looking for, I was looking to be brought in a bit earlier and not at the batting, but Ashley Nurse knows what he's doing. Yes, indeed. The captain knows best. 143 for three. Miller. Into ball to Greenwich, advancing, and he's ball. So just as we said, Gunsmoke, Corey Miller, he has a knack for picking up wickets, and that's just what he did. Greenwich gone bold for nine, and the I was looking to be brought in a bit earlier, and not at the bottom, but Ashley Nurse knows what he's doing. Yes, indeed, the captain knows best. 143 for three, Miller. Into ball to Greenwich, advancing, and he's ball. So just as we said, Gunsmoke, core. I was looking to be brought in a bit earlier, 
and know that the batting, but Ashley Nurse knows what he's doing. Yes, indeed. The captain knows best. 143 for three. Miller into ball to Greenwich, advancing, and his ball. So just as we said, Gunsmoke Core for he is a talented young man. So, and uh, driven immediately, and uh, classy player Kimar Buffett, gun smoke. He's off the mark right away, but that sensible cricket in, on his part, getting Wickham on strike. He's the man, he's in, he's on 23, 144 for four. This is over number 18. So Miller into ball to Wickham. Oh, <laughs> Miller telling him he needs to stay in his crease. Don't get cheeky with me. So Miller into ball to Kevin Wickham. Look at the reverse sweep. Oh my word, that's very dangerous shot to play. I think the ball came off the edge and he struck him on the helmet. Yes, indeed, Gunsmoke. That's why he said it's a very dangerous shot. When it works, it looks so good. It's Chris. Don't get cheeky with me. So, Miller. Into ball to Kevin Wickham. Look at the reverse sweep. Oh. Into ball to Wickham. That one is hit high. Where has it gone? It's gone for six. I can tell you, I, I don't know where it's gone because it's still looking all in the see where the ball is landing. So you can clap for that. That's a hundred of So Miller, into ball to Kevin Wickham. Look at the reverse sweep. Oh, into ball to Wickham. That one is hit high. Where has it gone? It's gone for six. I can tell you, I, I don't know where it's gone because it's still looking all in the see. Here's Bradford. The ball to Wickham and Wickham. Oh! 
A man is on the way. A man is on the way. And the catch is taken. It looked lovely. Kevin Wickham on the long off boundary. The, the long on boundary. And he came back here now, Paul, and, and he got his wicket. Yes, indeed, gun smoke. So it's, you said he redeemed himself. Yes, he did. So 151 for five, the Thomas Tours Travelers. This is over number 19, folks. Crowd will be the final score. Cappy. Well, I, I look it out, Cappy. I give a Cappy time to catch itself in that zone. So I look it out. The crowd is building nice. A big final here. Oh my word, over 9,873 people. One Sampi that just crawled off that woman foot there just now. Two dogs that run through the back. A cat that just fall on this shot shot tree. And certainly the rat that's standing right under that car there, so but he's not woman. So Zion Braffitt. The new batsman is Shakir Marshall. Here's Braffitt. The ball to a delivery outside the awesome batsman swinging him as ball goes triple by the keeper. So three deliveries left in this over. Marshall. In strike, he will want to pick up a boundary or something to increase the total. Buffett redeeming himself by picking up the wicket of Wickham. I believe he was praying when that ball went out there to the pizza. Same pray you don't drop him again. Here's Buffett. Makes his way in a to ball to Marshall. Ball to Marshall. Marshall gets it every end. This one sweetly. Pat on the ground and into the boundary. It looks like. Four four, lovely shot from Marshall. Well played there so on occasion time. Huh? That was well struck by Marshall. A good effort there by the field on the long horn boundary, but unable to stop it. And another boundary for the Thomas Doors Travelers. They move on to 155 for five. So Buffett. As he makes his way in uh, just about now to both of Marshall. And both of Marshall, Marshall gets a delivery and slaps this one up towards uh, the sweep on the boundary to get one. That's all oh, their strong return to the keeper's end. So one delivery left. Brings Braffitt on strike. He is on two off two. What will Kimar Braffitt look to do here? I can tell you he needs to score. That's what he needs to do. He have to get his team up to about 170 or so, I reckon. 156 for five. So here he is. Uh, as a Braffitt makes his way in. To ball to Braffitt. And Braffitt says this one in the air. Up towards the long off bridge and they'll get one. That's all they will be. So at the end of over number 19, 157 for five, Capitan. <laughs> So Corey Miller will be bowling the final over. And he'll be bowling to Braffitt. In the ball to Braffitt. And Braffitt is in this one. Sweetly. Down toward long off. They'll get one. The return comes in just about now. We couldn't get the second. So final over, Gunsmoke. How much you think we'll be looking to target in this over? We're going to try to get the maximum amount. 
I, st I said the maximum amount. So you, you can say what total that will be. 158 for five. The Thomas Tours Traveler sent in to bat here tonight by the Skin Sixers. So the projected score rate really is 164. So Miller into ball to Marshall. Racking him on the pad. So a good start to the over here by Corey Miller. Yeah, very good bowling so far. But Kimar Raffet comes in and strike and he has a knack for hitting boundaries. Tonight, 159 for five. This is the final over of the innings. Miller, top of his mark. Don't know if he's from Miller's Mill. But it's Miller from the southern end. Or the phobia end. As he makes his way into both the profit. Profit gets a slowly real wide ball. Signal by the umpire. So. Wide signal by the umpire. So 161 for five. Four deliveries still left in this over. Four legitimate deliveries. Here's Miller from the southern end. So ball delivery batsman is driving down towards the long bridge. And they'll get one. The return comes in. They're looking for the second. They're running hard. And they get two. That's good running from these two. That's very good running. Yes, guys. So that's what's needed here. You take everything you can get at this stage. You put pressure on the feelers. They come back for an easy two. 163 for five. Three deliveries remaining. Legal deliveries, that is. Well... They will want a boundary here that would, uh, to increase their chances. Here's Miller. He's won a very good over so far as he's in. And Bulls to Marshall says this one. Out the walls, wide long on the man is there. He's on to it pretty quickly. The return comes in. No, this is madness. Oh, and Dooming. Could you believe it? And two men were in the crease. And could you believe it? The ball, the, the bowler didn't take the ball cleanly. It went all the way out to Medicare. And no more, none of the two batsmen had the subconscious to say, I'm going to run them to the non strikers end. Now they said, Gunsmoke, once you put pressure on the fielders, you will give your chance to get extra. And bad communication there by those two. And in the end, Marshall being run out for seven. And the score. 163 for five.
So, lane, it looks like. Adam Miller. Into both the lane. Lane is one in there. Oh, high, hard, and uh, handsome. Into the boundary for six. Uh, uh, is there one more ball? Sorry. That's Roberts that was on straight. And that's the end of the over. Lane, it looks like. As Miller. Into both the lane. Lane is one in the air. Oh, high, hard, and uh, handsome. Into the boundary for six. Uh, uh, they, is there one more ball? Sorry. Runs on the board or runs on the board? Yes, indeed, Gunsmoke, but will it be enough? We shall know shortly. So, I will give you the scorecard. Zachary McCaskey, he made 24. Kevin Stout, 40. Talbert Bradford, 40. Kevin Wickham, 29. Latrell Greenwich made 9. Kimar Bradford, he made 4. Shakir Marshall, he made 8. And Robert, 6. And the bowling for you guys, Matthew Jones, he took one for 18. Kima Hart, one for 37. Zion Braffitt, one for 27. Ashley Nurse, one for 29. And Corey Miller, one for 17. So we shall be back in about 10 to 15 minutes for the run chase. The Thomas Torres Travelers, 170 for six. DJ Kevin is going in, 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 in. Queen of Bacchanal I came up as a real good girl Always home, don't go nowhere As soon as I was introduced to Carnival They say I lose All the on the ground Walking, walking up the bottom And they dragging, dragging all over town And they say I lose It was never a party at my school But I used to go But since I was introduced to Bacchanal They say
final of the Oi Rafa T20 tournament. Remember the Thomas Torres Travelers, they were axed to bat by the Skane Sixers after the Sixers won the toss. And the Thomas Torres Travelers posted a total of 170 in their 20 overs at the crease. And, and now we'll await the reply by the Skane Sixers. So the opening batsman for the Sixers at the striker's end is none other than Kyle Jordan. And the non-striker will be Hakeem Perriman. The man with ball in hand is the left-arm seamer, Davian Branker. He, has, he comes in now to bowl to Jordan, in the run, so we're not on the mark as yet. So Davian Branker, you'll be coming into this contest with some confidence, picking up some four wickets in the semi-final, and he'll want to do something similar tonight. And the uh, non-striker, Hakeem Perryman, he had a good out in the semi-final as well. But in right through the innings to get his side home to book a spot in this all-important final. So here we go. David Banker, left arm over the wicket. And this delivery is turned into the onside. He'll get you for a single. As the ball feeler coming off the deep square like boundary. Keeps it to just a single. So Kyle Jordan, he's on his way as well as the Skin Sixers. One without loss. We'll bring Hakeem Perman into strike for the first time. The tall left-handed batsman. So the Thomas Wars Traveler is looking for that early wicket. There's a slipping position for the left-hander. There's also a third man backward point. Sweep on the cover boundaries. A short that should come in the captain's stout. There's a mid-off, mid-on, mid-wicket. And the man at that short fine leg position it looks like andrea marshall so perryman taking his guard and looking around the field as he settles now to face up to branker continuing over the wicket to the left-handed batsman slipping position this delivery is dropped into the outside they go through for a quick single and they get home in the end so perryman is off the mark immediately as well so the score is now two without loss and the required rate is 8.55 runs per over. So should be a very interesting run chase here in this all-important final. These two teams looking to be at the top of the table and be the champion of this year's edition of the Oi Buffett T20. Here's Branko once again. Yorker left delivery keeping it up is Kyle Jordan and Branko with a couple of words letting him know that he's here for the contest he remains two without loss 169 more runs required from 117 deliveries and you know Branker he's a guy that usually picks up wickets with the new ball he's looking to do that here tonight once again so Brank at the top of his mark, he turns now to ball to the right-handed Kyle Jordan as he comes in now once again, passes the umpire. And Jordan is being rocked on the part of Pilfer BW. Chance for a run out there to come through for a single. Get it home comfortably in as the fielder doesn't pick up the ball clearly. And one more added to the total. New ball, he's looking to do that here tonight once again. So Brank at the top of his mark, he turns now to ball to the right-handed Kyle Jordan as he comes in now once again, passes the umpire. And Jordan is being rocked on the part of Pilfer IBW. Chance for a run out there to come through for a single. Get it home comfortably in the end of the booker spot in this final. Branker. This one pushes to the onside. They get you for a comfortable single. That's a really good bat in there by Hakeem Perman. Good delivery from Branker as well. As one delivery is left in the over, it's now four without loss. Very evenly poised game at the moment. 170. Decent total batting first on a really good batting surface. I think the Thomas Torres Travelers will be happy to work with something like that. Here is Brank in the ball, the final delivery of the over. And this one is hit in the air, but into the gap. The feeder from Longhorn coming around to do the feeling. 
and just a single of the final delivery of over number one, the Skin Sixers, looking to get up to 171 for victory. They are five foot loss after the first over. So, five default loss after the first over. Operating from the center of the ground with the new ball is Johan Lane. And he also has a slip in position. Third man back on the boundary. As he comes in now to ball, right arm over the wicket. Short of a left delivery outside the line of the Austin ball, through to be taken by the keeper. So he also has a backward point, a cover, an extra cover. There's a mid off, mid on, deep square leg and a fine leg inside the circle. Lovely crowd on hand here for this big final of the Oil Rapid T20 tournament. A timer, we anticipate a really good game. Yes, indeed. I've been walking around through the crowd, double O, and the vibe is really, really good. Good excitement. Absolutely, this delivery is ripped sweetly into the onside. They'll go up for one. Will they come back for a second as the ball runs very close to the boundary? Will it get there? It goes into the boundary right about now. So a nice piece of timing there from the batsman Kyle Jordan as he now picks up his first boundary and the first boundary for the Sixers. And the score moving on to nine with a... Yes, indeed. I've been walking around through the crowd, double O, and the vibe is really, really good. Good excitement. Absolutely, this delivery is ripped sweetly into the onside. They'll go up for one. Will they come back for a second as the ball runs very close to the boundary? Will it get there? It goes into the boundary. Got that early wicket. Short of a left delivery outside the line of the awesome as a wide signal by the umpire. So one more added to the score. And yes, indeed. I've been walking around through the crowd, double O, and the vibe is really, really good. Good excitement. Absolutely, this delivery is ripped sweetly into the onside. They'll go up for one. Will they come back for a second as the ball runs very close to the boundary? Will it get there? It goes into the boundary right about now. So a nice piece of time. So lane, into ball. That one is driven. It officially, the man there at mid off. That's Braffitt. There's a really good work there by Keemar Braffitt. Thought about coming for the catch, but the ball dropping in front of him and preventing it from going past him. So really good awareness from him on that occasion. Keep it to just 11 foot loss. It'd be so important for the Thomas Towers Travelers to save every single run, which is absolutely crucial. In a final, you don't want to give the opponent any chance to get the upper hand. And this will be very, very interesting as the left-handed Hakeem Perryman comes in to strike. 11 foot loss here, halfway through over number two. This delivery is going down the leg side. Why is there nobody on party? In the time that they really wouldn't want to be offering up those extras like that, those extras, the wise and the no balls at all to help the opponent. Definitely, double O, they need to cut down on the extras. Three so far, 12 foot loss. The skin sixers. Yes, they have some way to go in this contest as this delivery is turned into the onside. Big call of no by the non striker, Kyle Jordan, as it remains 12 foot loss. So pleased to see the number of spectators to take in this spectacle of a final. 
Remember, the game is being streamed live on YouTube. As Lane continues, this delivery is going down the light side once again. Some indiscipline coming into the play of the Thomas Torres Travelers and Johan Lane as he continues in his first over. So far, causing some eight runs. But in three ways, Simon, that's not the way to go about things. Here he is. Once again, this delivery is dropped to the outside. They go through for a quick single. Good running here between these two very young men. As the score moves on by one, it's now 14 with foot loss with one delivery left in over number two. Good running indeed. Keeping the scoreboard ticking over. 14 without loss. Target is 171. Here is Lynn. And this one is driven through the, the cover region. The failure prevents it from going past them and prevents the batsman from picking up a single. So at the end of two overs, the skin sixers looking to get it to 171 for victory. They're 14 without loss. as we prepare to start over number three be, to be bowled by Banker. We bowl into the left-handed Hakeem Perryman, who's on three. Kyle Jordan, he's on seven. Here's Banker, left arm over the wicket once again. And this delivery is being allowed to go through to the wicket keeper. There is no run. Good line in left there by Banker. Looks like a bit of swing on off as well. And left alone by the batsman, Perryman. 14 without loss, the skin sixers. If they seem to be a team who likes to chase, and they've decided to do that here tonight once more. Branka into ball to Perryman. Short delivery is pulling that one. It's gone high. It's gone far. It's gone for six. So a short delivery there by Branka and Perryman. Hitting that one over the boundary for six. That's also the first six of the innings. With that, the score moving on to, to be a team who likes to chase. And they've decided to do that here tonight once more. Branker into ball to Perryman. Short delivery is pulling that one. It's gone high. It's gone far. It's gone for six. So a short. In the rice is grown tonight. So Branka into ball to Perryman. Foolish delivery and beating all ends up. Branka holding his head. So that looks like it's passed quite close to the stumps. Yes, Branka, very, very crucial for the Thomas Towers Travelers with the new ball in hand. And it'll be very interested to see when Andre Marshall will come into the attack. He's been bowling very well for the Travelers throughout the entire competition. Captain Kevin Stout as well, so still some options for the captain. As Branka continues, and this delivery is pushed into the outside. They go through for a single ball going past the field at that point. Region, they get through for a second run to make it. 22 now with both loss. The skin sixers. Two deliveries left in over number three. Uh, 
Uh, Hakeem Perman will be very comfortable at the crease with a, a really good ends in the semi final we mentioned earlier. But Branko can assure he'll be looking to prize him out as he comes into ball once again. And driving at this delivery outside the line of the outside to be given out. Derby and Branko picking up that early wicket for his captain as Hakeem Perman had to make his way back to the pavilion, caught behind for 11. And in the semi final we mentioned earlier. But Branko can assure he'll be looking to prize him out as he comes into ball once again. And driving at this delivery outside the line of the house to be given out. Derby and Branko picking up that early wicket. to the middle for the skin Sixers is none other than the man Rivaldo Clark who's coming off of consecutive 90s. He scored 90 odd, 97 in the last preliminary game and also scored 90 odd in the 92 in the semi-final. So he'll be coming into this contest with some real, real confidence. In this all-important final, David Branker looking to get him early. Here is Branker as he comes in now to ball to the right-handed Rivaldo Clark. Full left delivery. And Clark managing to keep out that one. Branker thought for a minute he had his man, but the over comes to an end timer. After three overs, the skin sits her in. In the semi-final we mentioned earlier. But Branker and sure he'll be looking to prize him out as he comes into ball once again and driving at this delivery outside the line of the house that'll be given out Davy and Branker picking up that early wicket
Danny experience and the experience and very talented Marlon Ben to face it to his club mate. Damian Banker just delivers forward. Banker appealing strongly. Thought he had his man, and that would have definitely been a discussion in the Smart and Dress Room had he got him first ball, but it just remains 25 for the loss of two. And that, that, that's the beauty of franchise cricket time, where you can come up against your club mates, you know, and, and, and form some, some bonds with guys from other teams. And I really love the, the franchise system, for sure. Here's Branko once again, as he comes in to bowl once again. He's full left delivery, asking a question once again. Really looking to pick up that third wicket there for his captain. Here he remains 25 for the loss of two half through over number five. And I'm telling you, double O F it's one wicket. Brank is looking to get it's his club mate Ben. He's appealing and he's appealing. Will he be three times lucky? We will see. 25 for two. Well, it's growing up to be a fantastic contest here for sure. Ben is an extremely talented player here. Is Brank as he comes into ball, short of a left delivery ball, pushing to the outside. They go through for a single, getting home comfortably in the end. So, Marlon Ben is off the mark, and the score moves on now to 26. It's 26 for the loss of two as we continue here in over number five. Current run away is 5.57 runs for over, and they require. 9.46 runs for over. But we're still in the power play. Still a long way to go in this contest. They wouldn't worry about that at this stage. As the left arm Seymour Banker comes into ball once again. This one is driven into the onside. Rivaldo Clark will pick up a single to mid on. And push the score up to 27 now for the loss of two. One delivery left in over number five. Lots of buzz around the ground, different supporters su supporting the different franchises. Thomas Towers Travelers and the Skin Sixers in this big final as Branca. Well, and Ben is ripping this one sweetly. My word, over the Ben Wicket region. And thankfully, anyone in the pavilion, that's a lovely piece of timing. By Marlon Ben to finish the over. And the score is now 33. It's 33 for the loss of two at the end of five overs. Well, look at me. It's after the R to the E and the H I E. Well, and Ben is whipping this one sweetly. My word. Over the Ben Wicket region. And anyone in the pavilion, that's a lovely piece of timing by Marlon Ben to finish the over. And the score is... Whenever they get the opportunity, so another Spartan clash here between 
Andrew Marshall and Mardon Ben. And this could be extremely, extremely crucial in this run chase. So Marshall into both the Ben, back and punching at one, up the stout at cover. There's no run. 34 for two folks. The target is 171. Andre Marsh has been bowling really well in the competition. He'll want to continue here tonight. So Marshall into ball to Ben Shard and punching that one again up to cover. There's no run. You see Andre Marshall staring down his mind. He, they, these two will know each other extremely well from in the next in the Queen's Park. But this is a different outing. And once more, punching that one straight to the man again. Where oh is he going? My word. Oh no! There was definitely a run out chance there. Ben don't know where he was going. It was never a single. And the fielder there at the extra cover. Take the next in the Queen's Park. But this is a different outing. And once more, punching that one straight to the man again. Where oh is he going? My word. Oh no! As this delivery is short of a left. Look at the pull that one into the outside. This one will run close to the boundary. Banker gives chase. Cannot keep it in play. And the ball goes into the boundary for four. Sloppy work there by the wicket keeper on that occasion. Allowing the bats. This is a different outing. And once more punching that one. Straight to the man again. Where oh is he going? Oh no. As this delivery. So Marshall into ball to Ben once more. Does not deliver. So the cat and mouse game is definitely on here, Dolo. This is so good to watch. Marshall into ball to Ben. Down the leg side. The keeper can't stop it. And it will go into the boundary again. Wide signal by the umpire. So at five runs to the total. Double O. Don't think that's good bowling by Marshall in the end. But we still think the keeper shot into ball to Ben once more does not deliver so the cat and mouse game is definitely on here Dolo. this is so good to watch Marshall into ball to Ben looking to have a swing the scamper two for one so pretty good over double two into ball to Ben once more does not deliver so the cat and mouse game is definitely on here Dolo. this is so good to watch marshall into ball to ben down the leg side the keeper can't stop it and it will go into the boundary again why are required from 84 deliveries. Branker continues in the attack to ball his fourth and final over as he comes in now to ball to Ben. Ben is getting in a short of a left delivery ball which should be taken by the keeper. There is no run. And you can see that, that competitiveness coming out of the bowlers. Two smarter bowlers operating together. Bowling at their club mate, Mardon Ben. And I can assure you there will be some discussion about this in the dressing room at Queen's Park for sure. Full bragging rights here, double O. I can tell you that bragging rights on shore here for sure. Well, $5,000 up for grabs for the winners of this game as Branker comes in from the northern end of the ball once again. And Ben is advancing down the trap ball, going down to the third man region. And they. Didn't go through for a single. So one for the overseer by the umpire. Ball seemed to have struck the helmet or something like that, it seems. But Ben, he seems to be fine. It remains 44 for the loss of two. As we continue 
here in over number seven. Marlon Ben on seven, Rivaldo Clark on two. Here's the left arm Seymour once more. Slow delivery driven sweetly through the outside, leaving some pressure there. Damien Branca handing up a slow full toss, and Marlon Ben said thank you very much as the ball raced into the cover boundary for another boundary. Benny moves into double figures now. He's on 11 from 12 deliveries. The score is now 48 for the loss of two. Ben definitely cashing in on a loose delivery there from Branca. And putting it away. And he moves up to 11. The score 48 for two. A real disappointing delivery there from David Branca. He was really bowling well as he comes into ball once again to Ben. And Ben is getting the delivery. It's going down the leg side. Wide signal by the umpire. One more run added to the extras. And timer. We are in over number seven. And the extras are 16 at this moment out of a total of 49. No double O. You can't bow those amount of extras. Not, not within the seven over. I can tell you that. Well, they want to tighten up the Thomas Stewart's travelers as Branca comes in to bowl. Full left delivery. This one is it. In the air. It goes over the long on original. Maradon then runs away and admires the shot as it sailed away for six. As the 50 comes up now for the skate sixers here. 55 for the loss of two. More deliveries into over number seven. And Maradon then moves on to 17 off of 13 deliveries. I'm liking this double O. The rivalry is so hype here. Ben playing a beautiful shot for six and running away with it. I can tell you, Branker, he'll be back. He'll be back. He won't be taking that for sure, I can tell you. Well, he, he produced a wide delivery. And I, I think that that's the reason why Mardon Ben didn't run. He, he wanted to take on Branker. And he's definitely doing that, as you can see here. Uh, just what they made in the field. Third man coming inside of the 30 yard circle with a long off going back on the boundary. 55 for the loss of two. Two deliveries left in over number seven. So, Branca comes into ball once again. And there's a short of left there. There's a good comeback there by Davian Branca. Producing a dot ball for his side. It remains 55 for two. So Branca the ball, the final delivery of this tournament for him. As he comes in to ball to Maradon Ben once again. Short of a left delivery, looking to whip that one into the onside. They get through for what would be a like by signal by the umpire. So over number seven comes to an end with the skin sensors on 56 for the loss of two. Looking to get up to 171 for victory. <laughs> Start of over number eight. He's into ball to Ben. Short delivery. That one I said hi. Who wants it? The keeper calls. Will he take it? No, he doesn't. It was always going to be a difficult catch. 
and Davolo running away and watching a ball coming over your shoulder is always a difficult catch. I'm telling you. And Mardon Ben, he survives that chance. Well, 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 well. Ben put down on 17. That's the second chance he's had here tonight. And the man who was doing a lot of watching at the other end, Rivaldo Crack, comes back in the strike. Shortish delivery, and he's turning that one nice. They will run close to the boundary. Good work there by the man running around from Dick Square Lake. They'll only get two. So good work there by the fielder. It's a really good work. Also well played by Rivaldo Clark to get the ball so fine down there and picking up a couple of runs. So he moves on to five. And the total is up to 59 for the loss of two here in over number eight. So Marshall into ball to Clark. Shortest delivery again, looking to turn that one, the keeper, not stopping it. We'll wait for the single. So it's wide. So the extras, the extras continue to creep up here. The man who was doing a lot of watching at the other end, Rivaldo Crack comes back in the strike. Shortest delivery, and he's turning that one nice. They will run close to the boundary. Good work there by the man. Running around from Dick Square Lake. They'll only get two. Just need to really tighten up. So Marshall into ball to Ben. Look at the sweep. Another bad ball by Marshall. Double or so. Marshall, he's missing his bearings here at the moment. He's bowling to his club mate Ben. Do you think? The pressure is getting to him a bit here. Well, he doesn't want to go into his scoring areas. He will know him very, very well. But just sliding on the leg side on that occasion. So Marshall into ball to Ben. Having a big swing. Appeal for stumping. Not out, says the umpire. So interesting stuff as we continue. 60 for two. They require 111 more. Here is Marshall. This one turned into the onside. They get through for an easy single. Correction there by your co commentator. They require 108 runs. 108 runs are required off of 74 deliveries that are required a rate of 8.76 at this moment. As Andrea Marshall comes into ball this one and a bad delivery going down to the point there with your banker unable to cut it off and it goes into the boundary for four more. So Robert the Clark will pick up another boundary take his tally on to nine. And the skin sixers, they make their way on to 67 for the loss of two. Not a great over here by the man, Andre Marshall. One delivery left and over number eight. So Marshall, into ball to Clark, driving that one nicely. The man on the... Cover boundary, good work there, looks like Lane, is it? No, that's Wickham. So good work by Wickham. So 13 runs coming from that Marshall over. And I so Marshall, into ball to Clark, driving that one nicely. The man on the cover boundary, good work there, looks like Lean is it? No. So I show my plan in our funk. We don't have my flies, Mr. Gordon. This all is all part of the process. We get my fire from perfect. There are people close to me when I deserve it. And I don't feel me so perfect. Life full of lessons, I'm still a learner. Yeah, my man, no mistake, no well. Just last week, my touch with this friend, girl. Wish the hands of time could turn. Memories would burn. 
So new bowling to the attack is Jaden Roberts coming in from the northern end into ball to Ben. Hitting that one high again. There's another chance. The feeder comes around. The feeder settles. And it is a brilliant catch. That's well done by the man on the deep cover boundary running around and taking a very good catch. That's the end of Mardon Ben. He's gone for nine. Caught Marshall. And the skin sixers, they lose their third wicket double out the score, 69 for three. Well, Maradon Ben, he was looking to get on with things and losing his wicket on that occasion as he makes his way. Aiden Roberts coming in from the northern end, into ball to Ben. Hitting that one high again. There is another chance. The feeder comes around, the feeder settles, and it is a brilliant catch. That's well done by the restaurant. Sugar Sean Enterprises, Fusions Boutique, Rose the Gem Catering Delights, and RB Irrigation and Plumbing. And those team sponsors, the Skin Sixers, is sponsored by Easy Drive Car Rentals and KNR Variety. The RCY Strikers is sponsored by JS Transport Services. Jim Brown Lions, sponsored by Indoor Wear Travels. The Thomas Stores Travelers, they're sponsored by Thomas Stores. The Clear Smith Lama Voyager sponsors read MJA Distributions, Playmore, Marquez Lawn and Garden Maintenance, and Pina Cups. And of course, Yachts and M Dolphins is sponsored by Everton Buffett and Company, Debs Bar, Ken Rice Hideaway, Pump Up Farming and Produce Limited, Welding and Engineering Maintenance Services, East DJs, Cappy Sells Everything, Swift Express Cargo, and M Hotel Sewing Services. Yes, so special thanks to the sponsors. The new batsman, Giovanni de Pisa. He's turning that one nicely. The sharp, fine light area. So he's off the mark. And with that, the score moves on up to 70 for three double. Also, the travelers, they're picking up wickets at regular intervals. Yes, I'm sure that Captain Kevin Stout be very happy that Jada Roberts came into the attack. First delivery, picking up a wicket, a crucial one. Of that of Maradon Ben and keeping the opposition at bay somewhat. So Roberts into ball to Clark. Shortish delivery. Well ball, well played. There's no run. 70 for three. They need 104 from 73 deliveries. Sorry, 101 deliveries. Sorry, 101 runs remaining on 69 deliveries. Required a rate 8.78. Here is Roberts, the right arm seamer. This delivery punched off the back foot into the cover point region. They go for one. And uh, they think of a second deciding against it. They return not that great at all. And allowing the batsman to get through for his second run. So, two runs off the bat of Rivaldo Clark takes his tally on to 13 of 12 deliveries and the skin sixers here 72 for the loss of three. They require another 99 runs of 68 deliveries. Required away 8.74. Rivaldo Clark, man form for the sixers. Faces up to Roberts. Short ball, Clark looking to cut that one down to the third man region. Ball went through to be taken by the keeper. 
One more delivery is left in over number nine. And this, this contest is really brewing up for a fantastic finish. As Jalen Roberts, the tall right arm seamer, continues from the northern end of the ground. And this delivery is dropped into the offside. Good batting there by Rivaldo Clark to pick up the single and rotate in the strike once again. So the over comes to an end. A really good over there by Jaden Roberts. An over that just caused some four runs. And the skin sixers, after nine overs, they are 73 for the loss of three. Yeah. So, ball are coming into the attack from the southern of the ground. None other than Shakir Marshall. And he's going to be bowling over number 10. The score is 73 for the loss of three. So, Marshall to ball to Rivaldo Clark. This is the side of the line of the awesome and cuts sweetly down to the third minor region and picks up a boundary of the very first delivery of over number 10, pushing the score up now to 77 for the loss of three. Rivaldo Clark, he moves on now to 18. For the loss of three. So, Marshall the ball to Rivaldo Clark. This is the real side of the line of the awesome and cuts sweetly down. This one pulled into the onside. Down to the deep mid-wicket region. They go for one. They'll come back for a second. The return comes to the keeper's end. And they'll get home comfortably. So, two for the loss of three. So, Marshall the ball to Rivaldo Clark. This is the real side of the line of the awesome. And cuts sweetly down to the third minor region. Right arm over the wicket. Marshall the delivery is worked into the onside as Father Clark picking up another single. He moves on to 21. The score is now 80 for the loss of three. Halfway through the over. Shakir Marshall, the man who did the captain duties. So one turn into the onside by Giovanni the Pisa. Will they come back for a second run? They'll do so comfortably right about now. So the Pisa, he moves on to three. And the score now moves on to... So the score now moves on to 83. It's 83 for the loss of those three wickets. Marshall. It's the delivery outside the line of the awesome. Clark looking to push that one through the offside. The ball went through to be taken by the keeper. So a dot ball to finish over number 10. We are at the halfway stage of the innings, ladies and gentlemen. And the skin sixers, they're looking to get it to 100. And 71 for victory. They are 83 for the loss of three. I'm a 
face, baby, you too pretty, I'm a big in your beard. Take me a little time, man, just a bloody year. So as we continue, 83 for 3 in 10 overs. Now Roberts into his second over. And he'll be bowling to the Pisa. He's in. The Pisa pushing that one nicely into the onside. He'll get one. Offside, sorry. 87 more runs needed from 59 deliveries. It's shaping up quite nicely here. Could be a roller coaster ride. <laughs> Partnership is 15. So Roberts into ball to Clark. Steering that one nicely. He'll get runs here for sure. The man on the third man boundary, he can't stop it today and or tomorrow. So young Clark using the pace on that delivery and Working it into the third man boundary for four. He moves on to 25. The score moves on to 88 for three. Yes, sir. It's run chase. Really brought up. Seem to have a, a bit of an injury. I hope that the failure down there will be fine. But well, we shall we shall see. Wishing him all the best for sure. It looks like Andrew Marshall down there. We really don't like to see the players getting injured. And they're out there doing their thing. And with the BCA season starting on just Sunday, definitely wouldn't want anyone to be carrying an injury, but seems to be yeah. He's on his feet, double on he's walking, so it seems not to be anything too serious. I think that the concern for the Thomas Wells Travelers obviously will be worried about him, you know, and, and, and his physical well-being, but we we'll also be worried about the overs that he has remaining as well. He's just bowled two overs for 19 runs, Andrea Marshall, and they would be banking on those other two overs from him. But at this time, I'll give you some bowling figures. David Branker, he bowled four overs, no better. He picked up two wickets for 31 runs. Johan Lane, he bowled two overs for 11 runs. Andrew Marshall, like I said, about two overs for 19 runs. Shaquille Marshall, his first over cost some 10 runs. And Jane Roberts now in his second over, 1.2 overs, no maidens, one wicket for nine runs. The score is 88 for the loss of three. Two deliveries into over number 11. The current run rate, 8.52. And the required rate is 8.59. So they're doing just about what they need to do. So Marshall coming inside the circle. Glad to see that he's still on the field. So Rivaldo Clark, he's on 25 from 19 deliveries. Giovante de Pisa, his club mate. He's on five from four deliveries. Yes, double O and young Rivaldo Clark again. Continuing his form in this year's tournament. He's easily the leader on score. And he's looking to take his team over the line here tonight once more. 88 for three. And Roberts, he's ready to go. 1.2 overs, one for nine. That's Jalen Roberts. He'll be looking to get his captain a wicket into ball to Clark. He's pushing that one nicely up to mid-off. Easy single taken. That takes the score on now to 89. I'd like to say a special good night to Sancho. Yes, our resident squirrel always doing a fabulous job. I can, I can tell you that for sure, Double O. 
Says she can multitask. Roberts into ball to the peas. Beating outside the Austin. Well, ball. This has a really good delivery. High quality delivery there by Jaden Roberts. He always manages to extract a little bit more bounce than the other bowlers due to his height. And coming from a very high action. And he did that on that occasion. Get it past the outside edge of Giovante de Pisa to keep the score on 89 for the loss of three. Two deliveries left in over number 11. Yes, indeed. A tall fella using his height. So Roberts into ball to the Pisa. Hitting that one over cover. Beautiful shot. That one will run close to the boundary, into the boundary. So a good shot there by the Pisa double up, punching that one over cover and into the boundary for four. Well, that's a high quality short timer. That ball was by no means a half volley. And the Pisa standing up tall, leaning. So Roberts into ball to the Pisa. Hitting that one over cover. Beautiful shot. That one will run close to the boundary, into the boundary. So good shot there by the Pisa double up, punching that one over. Yes, so Roberts on his way once more. Into ball to the Pisa. He's stroking that one nice. They pass the man at point. They go for one. They'll come back for two. So beautifully played there by the Pisa. And I can tell you folks with that, the end of over number 11. The target, 171. So Roberts on his way once more. Into ball to the Pisa. He's stroking that one nice. They pass the man at point. They go for one. They'll come back for two. So beautifully played there by the Pisa. We're about to start over number 12. The score is 95. 95 for the loss of three. They require another 76 runs from 54 deliveries. Marshall continues. This one hit down to the long origin. The goal for info. I will come up for a second. Jaden Roberts. It looks like the fielder down there at that long on position doing the fielding. Keeping it to just a single. Really good work by him down there. As the score now moves on to 96 for the loss of three. Some urgency being shown here by these two. She know each other really, really well. Representing the Gladiola Sports Club right here at the Rice's Ground. As Shakir Marshall continues this one short. Pulled into the outside. That one has gone some distance on top of the roof. As Giovante de Pisa picks up his first six in tonight's contest. As the score finally goes past 100 for the skin since the 102 for the loss of three here in the sports club, right here at the races ground. As Shakir Marshall continues this one short, pulled into the outside. That one has gone some distance on top of the roof as Gio Bonte de Pisa picks up his first six in tonight's corner bar. Shakira Nurse. Giovante de Pisa, he's on 17 off of eight deliveries. Rivaldo Clark, he's on 27 from 21 deliveries. The current run rate is exactly nine runs per over. The required rate has dropped now to 7.96. So the Thomas Towers Travelers, they need to do something. They need to do it soon. They don't want the Skin Sixers to get away from them. Yes, indeed. They need to pick up wickets, double O, and they need to pick them up quickly. 69 from 52 deliveries. And Captain Stout making some adjustments to the field. Well, still a way to go in this contest. 69 runs is still enough runs to work with 
for the Thomas Souls Travelers. They're not out of this contest by any stretch of the imagination. A wicked or two can really shift the balance in this game as Marshall continues. Short ball! And that's not bad bowling. That's a bad bowling. That, that's not going to help at all. As that one was hit over the middle wicket region for another six. And Shabakir Marshall really coming in for some stick here in over number 12. As the score now moves on to a hundred and a hundred and eight for the loss of three. And Shakir Marshall now has the ball 1.3 overs, no middens, no wicket for 23 runs. Long hop double O and getting the treatment. The score moving on to 108 for three. Special good night to oh, double O. 63 runs needed from 51 deliveries. And I can tell you, it's still in the balance. Who's brave enough to call it? I don't know. And I'm sure that the skin sixers will be the happier of the two. I believe so as well. In these instances, we always favor the batting team. But quick wickets can also turn the tide. Yeah, they, they need a wicket and they need it quickly. Shakir Marshall will be continuing halfway through over number 12. Here he is to bowl to the Pisa. He's getting a delivery going back on the back foot, looking to punch that one through the offside, unable to make contact. The ball will be through to be taken by the keeper. It remains 108 for the loss of three. Here is Marshall once again. And he's looking to pat and sweep that one on the ball, coming off the back of the bat and going down to the third man region. And managing to Pick up a single there, Giovanni the Pisa. He moves on now to 24 from 11 deliveries. The score is 109 now for the loss of three. One delivery left in the over. As Rivaldo Clark settles, this partnership worth 40 runs already. As Marshall comes into bonus delivery, hit down to the final line, region of fielder giving chase. Sends the return to the keepers, and that's the end of over number 12, ladies and gentlemen. And the Skin Sixers looking to make their way to 171 in order to win this all important final of the Oil Buffet D20 tournament. They are 110 for the loss of true, for, for the loss of three, sorry, at the end of 12 overs. I want freedom. Just a good life No, everybody wants to live a good life Good life Tell the worst life goodbye Goodbye I've been dreaming From the start, so I'm put in the work Till the things take off Everyone be caught this street, no soft Them full of mind game, them a killer with craft Me not just nobody So Kevin Winkle looks like he's the man to come into the attack from the northern of the ground. Had a really good semi-final, Kevin Winkle. And he'll be bowling over number 13. The score is 110 for the loss of three. Giovanni de Pisa is on 24. Rivaldo Clark is on 28. Partnership worth 41 runs. 
and they're going along at a current rate of 9.17, required rate 7.63. Here is Ubekum, right arm over the wicket. And just tucking up with the clerk on that occasion, he get through for a single. We wait to see if there's a signal from the umpire. So, a run to Rival the clerk, taking his tally on to 29. The score is 111 for the loss of three wickets. Can we come pick up a, a wicket for his captain? Ball coming off the inner portion of the back, going down to the deep mid wicket region. They get a single. That's Giovante de Pisa. 112 now for three. 59 runs required from 46 deliveries. Brings Rivaldo Clark back into strike. Had a really good tournament with the back, Rivaldo Clark. As Kevin Wicken comes into ball once again, passes the umpire. Delivery to the real side of the line of the all stop. True to be taken by the keeper. Generating some pace for, off a very short run. Kevin Wickham, a real utility player. He can do everything in the game of cricket. He can bat, he can bowl, he can keep. He can bowl seam or he can bowl leg spin. The type of guy you really want in your side as he comes into ball once again to a clerk. This delivery is outside the line of the all stop. True to the keeper. Doesn't hold on to the ball cleanly, but. No chance of the batsman getting through for a run. It remains 112 for the loss of those three wickets. Short third man in the circle, backward point. Extra cover and short finally the four fielders inside the third yard circle. And this one is driven firmly down to the field at that mid-off position. They get through for a single take. Revive the clock now into the 30s. He's on 30 off. 26 deliveries. The score is up to 113 for the loss of three. Brings Giovante the Pisa into strike once again. This delivery is driven into the cover region. They get you for an easy single down to the fielder there on the cover boundary. So that completes over number 13. And the skin sixers, they are 114 for the loss of three. They require 57 runs from 42 deliveries. Show them what beans do. Show. Send her to forget them. Little and that shot six man with such churn. Send her to forget them. They know I'm in the kill with me. I'm my best friend. Send her to forget them. Send her to forget them. Little and that shot six man with such churn. Send her to forget them, they know me, they care with me, I'm my best friend. Poor them soft, my dog left them, men's heart live raps in the cycle. No money, go up, chip a one part, they ask one last year, no, the room that they have had long time since now. So 114 for three. Double O is shaping up quite nicely. Definitely, it's good to see Andrew Marshall back in the attack after that. Bit of an injury scare down there at that long region. So 57 runs needed from 42 deliveries. The required run rate is 8.1. Marshall. Left arm chewing around. He'll be bowling to Giovante de Pisa. He's in. Shortest delivery. He's pushing that one nicely down to long on. For an easy single. That will bring Rivaldo Clark back into strike. He's on 30, 115 for three. Marshall into ball to Clark. Back in squeezing that one. It's a very intelligent batting here by these two. Rotating the strike. That's realizing that the Thomas Stewart Travelers need a wicket. And they've gone back to one of their strike bowlers, Andrew and Marshall. They don't want to give him the opportunity to pick up a wicket. 116 for three. Into both of the pieces. That one is it high. That wow. one is it far. That wow. one is out of here. Wow. What a shot. Javante de Pisa. Double O. That one had wings on it. Well, you definitely need to get a visa for that one. That's traveling a lot. You don't want to 
give him the opportunity to pick up a wicket. Marshall in the boat to the Pisa. He's pushing that one up to cover. So they don't want to give him the opportunity to pick up a wicket. 116 for three. Into both of the pieces. That one is it high. That wow. one is it far. That wow. one is Watch for the future for sure. Marshall in time once more. There's no run. 49 runs needed from 37 deliveries. The Thomas Toast Travelers, they need to get a wicket here. Marshall into both of the pieces. Short. That one has gone high. The feeder comes around. The feeder settles. And he will watch it go over his head and into the boundary for six more runs, double O. Wow. Well, well I, I thought that the peas are really missing that one. He probably thought so as well. But he's such a strong young man and he got so much distance on that. Although he missed it and it went all the way for six. My goodness, and this partnership now worth some 59 runs between these two. The score is 128 for the loss of three at the end of 14 overs. So 128 for three. They require 43 from 36 deliveries. And Kevin Wickham, I can tell you he needs to get a wicket, but Rivaldo Clark, he's the man in form. He's been doing well. Wickham into both the Clark and his ball. Rivaldo Clark looking to get a bit cute there. And it seems like the ball came off the inside edge. And Wickham picking up a very crucial wicket there. Rivaldo Clark, he's going bowl for third. I can tell you he needs to get a wicket, but Rivaldo Clark, he's the man in form. He's been doing well. Wickham into both the Clark and his ball. Rivaldo Clark looking to get a bit cute. I can tell you he needs to get a wicket, but Rivaldo Clark, he's the man in form. He's been doing well. Wickham into both the Clark and his ball. Rivaldo Clark looking to get a wicket. Hundred and twenty-eight for four, folks, and the new batsman in is none other than Ashley Nurse. And Wickham into ball to Nurse. And Nurse is driving that one straight to cover. There's no run. I can tell you double O. This is going to be a fantastic finish here in this year's all you Barfit T20 competition. The skin sixers, they need 43 runs from 34 deliveries. Wickham. Into ball to nurse, looking at the scoop. Loud appeal. Umpire is not interested. They come through for a leg by. So nurse looking to get a bit cute there, not making a clean connection. So one more added to the total, 129 for four. Kevin Wickham continues to do well here for the Thomas Torres Travelers. Like I said, he had a really good semi final and he's. Made an impact so far in this final here in the second over, just conceding four runs. Peter.
Then outside the yard, stamp the pizza. So dot balls. I can tell you at this stage, dot balls are like goal in a treasure chest, double O. Yes, absolutely. And Wickham is really doing the job here for his captain. Picking up a crucial wicket at a crucial time as well. As they look to push that required rate back up. It's now at 7.88 runs per over. The required rate. And still some work to do by the Thomas Towers Travelers. So Wickham into both of the P's. That one coming off the outside edge. Not taken by the keeper. That's definitely a chance. Absolutely. Keeper Greenwich unable to hold on to that one in double up. In these big finals, you need to take your chances, especially when you have a man like the P. And still some work to do by the Thomas Towers Travelers. So Wickham into both of the P's. The one coming off the outside edge. Not taken by the keeper. That's definite. Maybe just one of those nights, but he needs to concentrate. They his team needs him. So Wickham into both the nurse. That one is driven firmly. Down to long off for one. So the scoreboard is ticking over. And still some work to do by the Thomas Towers Travelers. So Wickham into both of the P's. The one coming off the outside edge. Not taken by of over number 15. The Skin Sixers. 131 for the loss of four. Feelings laid, aren't we grow rent so low, don't you know? But I keep working my way back. But I'm a Jamaican boy who's born and raised. Nowadays I'm lost between two Such a big show there, big uh, DJ tonight. Cappy down in the place, keeping you entertained. We're about to start over number 16. The score 131 for the loss of four. 40 runs are required from 30 deliveries at exactly eight runs for over. Ashley Nurse to face the first delivery of over number 16 from Johan Lane, who operates from the southern end. And this one is in the air. It goes over the square leg region. And my goodness me, a thickish inside edge going over the square leg region all the way for six. And Ashley Nurse moves on to seven from four deliveries. The score is now 137 for the loss of four at the start of over number 16. 34 runs required. 29 delivery of over number 16 from Johan Lane, who operates for the southern end. And this one is. In the air, it goes over the square leg region. It's Lane as he comes into ball. Once again to Nurse, the right-handed batsman. And this one is hit sweetly. Down behind square for four more. And Ashley Nurse, he's looking to really get into the action here as he makes his way swiftly to 11 or five deliveries. And the skin sixers they move on to 141 for the loss of four. 30 more runs required from 28 deliveries. The Thomas Door Strawberries, they need a wicket and they need it now. Johan Lane comes into ball once again. Full left delivery, deceiving the batsman. Oh, what a really good delivery there by Lane Ball that should be taken by the keeper. There is no run. So, game really getting interesting. Ball coming off the inner portion of the bat, it goes into the middle wicket region. Oh, one is all it should be. As Nurse moves on to 12, 
from seven deliveries. The score is up to 142 for the loss of four. You must say a special thanks also to gentlemen here inside the pavilion, live streaming the game, also the persons operating the cameras to bring this broadcast live on YouTube. This delivery is short, going down to the final region, going into the boundary for four. So they continue to lead runs the Thomas Stewart's Travelers as the score now moves on to 146 for the loss of four here and over at number 16. And now they require 25 runs from 25 deliveries, the Skate Sixers. Oh my word, double O, it's going down, down to the wire. That's live on YouTube. This delivery is short, going down to the point that we're going to go into the boundary for four. Out of this over so far. 146 for four. One delivery left in over number 16. The P's are on 44. Nurse on 12. Punish it worth 18. Slower delivery. Well, this guy's there by Lynn as the over comes to an end. 16 overs completed. The Skin Sixers, they are 146 for the loss of four. They require 25 runs from 24 deliveries. In me friends, I can't confide. I gotta keep me eyes open wide. Oh. Hundred and forty six for four. They need twenty five to win. Wickham into ball to nurse. Big swing straight back to the bowler. There's no run. And I can tell you, Double O, Ashley will be looking to finish this as fast as he could. He's on 12 from 8. Giovanni De Pisa has played a very superb innings here. 44 from 22 deliveries. We come into board the nurse. And well, both tucking him up a bit. He eases through for another single. So it's 24 needed from 22 deliveries. The skin sixers. And double O, they have won the title twice already. They're looking for the third title in the all Ibrafit T20 competition. Yes, definitely. The enlarged and in charge, a very young franchise this time around. So Wickham into both of the P's. Oh my word! Oh, stop That's it. class! Stop it! Giovanni the Pisa with oh that Lord. six, I can tell you. It's a four. Sorry, my apologies. Top shot, nevertheless. Giovanni de Pisa. That brings up the 150 for the skin sixers. You can clap for that. And they're getting quite close to this. Definitely. The enlarged and in charge. A very young franchise this time around. So Wickham into both of the P's. Oh my word. Oh, stop That's it. class. Stop it. Giovanni. Where will it go? Who's going to call it? Wickham, interval to the P's, a quickish delivery, that one. Driven straight to the man at backward point. There's no run. Double O, the crowd has built quite nicely. I, I think we have at least about 2,000 fans in the races ground tonight, Double O. Yeah, I would like to think, I would like to think that as well. Really good crowd. Coming out tonight to enjoy this final. As this one is driven firmly down to the long off region. The Pisa moves on out of 49 with that single. And the total is up to 152 for the loss of four. 19 runs required from 19 deliveries. Brings back Captain Ashiners back into strike. 
Regardless of the result, time has been a really, really good competition. And another good game here on tonight. We come into ball to nurse. That one is hit firmly. Down to long off for one. I can tell you that for sure, Double O. A very well put together competition here at the Rice's Ground. The all you graphic T20 competition. And the final, it has lived up to all expectations. It's a very good game. And again, I'd like to thank all the fans, all the supporters for coming out to all the games and supporting the beautiful game of cricket. That's the end of over number 17. The Skin Sixers, they're 153 for four. Did you ever have to laugh when you feel like crying? Definitely, who feels it knows it. 18 runs needed from 18 deliveries. Can tell you, we've got our money's worth here tonight. Giovante de Pisa, he's on 49. Ashley Nurse, he's on 14. And it looks like Roberts back into the attack, this time from a different end. The southern end, or as Gunsmoke will say, the foul bay end. And it's going to be the end where the action is at for sure. So Roberts, right arm fast. Into ball to Ashley Nurse. He's in. Shortest delivery and Nurse pulls that one. One bounce into the boundary for four. So it can end quite quickly here, double O. Yes, Ashley Nurse is not going to play around anything slightly loose. He's going to look to punk on it. Another really good delivery to start the over there by Roberts. Pretty much a half track. It looked like he probably just rolled his fingers over that one. And Ashley Nurse saying thank you very much as he moves on to 18 of 11 deliveries. The total is up to 157 for the loss of four as they look to get it to 100. And 71 for victory to Skin Sixers. They require 14 runs of 17 deliveries. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, folks. Roberts into ball to nurse once more. Big drive beaten outside the Austin. Double O had Ashley connected that. That will last somewhere in St. Martin's. Well, I think it would have gone a little bit further, maybe don't games it. But a change of pace working on that occasion there for Jada Roberts, a change of lane as well and then. Can he pick up a wicket here to pull his side back into this contest? Here is Roberts as he comes into both the nurse. They're still gonna slash this one through the backward point region. Ball went through to be taken by the keeper. There's no run. So the Thomas Towers Travelers. They're not giving up as yet, and rightfully so. It's not over until it's over. 14 runs required off 15 deliveries. 157 for the loss of four to score. Ken Roberts come to the party here for his side. And this delivery is pushed into the point which is the chance for a run out. The, the throw goes to the keeper's end. Good backing up on the onside as the fielder coming in for from deep square line. So just one run to Nurse. He moves on to 19 and brings Giovante to Pisa back in the strike. He's on 49 to Pisa. Playing a really good innings. 49 of 25 deliveries. 158 for the loss of four is the score. Two deliveries left in the over. They require 13 runs from 14 deliveries. Here is Roberts. Once again, he aborts his run. And you go back to the top of his mark. Once again, I want to take this opportunity to thank all the spectators for coming out and supporting this year's edition of the Oi Buffett T20. We had four weeks of some entertaining cricket, for sure. 
And I want to say thanks to the players as well for producing some high quality cricket. As Roberts, right arm over the wicket to bowl, short of a left delivery ball, went through to the keeper, not carrying to the wicket keeper. It don't, it don't seem like, but they cross for a run as the ball seemed to have picked up an outside edge and a, a half century for Giovanni de Pisa here in this final. He's 50 of 26 deliveries. Well played there to the young man. The score is 159 for the loss of four. One delivery left in over number 18. Well played to Giovanni de Pisa. Very calm and calculated innings. Just enjoying this lovely balance service here at the races ground. As Roberts comes into the ball, delivery driven down to the field at that long off position, they get a single. Thought of coming through for the second run, but it's not in existence this time around. It's 160. 160 for the loss of four at the end of over number 18. Wickham into ball to nurse. Dill scoop that beats the fielder. It will run close to the boundary and it goes into the boundary for four. So Ashley Nurse, he's going to take his team over the line here tonight for sure. I can tell you that they require seven more runs only from. One hundred and sixty for four. Wickham into ball to nurse. Dill scoop that beats the fielder. It will run close to the boundary and it goes into the boundary for four. So Ashley Nurse, he's gonna take his team. In the 2023-20, white ball season. So they know something about winning and they look to bring home the bacon here tonight once again, 164 for the loss of four. Just seven runs required from 11 deliveries. I'll take this opportunity once again to mention the sponsors of the Oiba 5020, the sponsors of Smalls Record Services, Marks Auto Spears, EMA Auto Parts and Accessories, Copper Steel Bar, Blakey's Bar and Restaurant, Sugar Shawn Enterprises, Fusions Boutique, Was the Gen Catering Delights, and of course, RB Irrigation and Plumbing. Kevin Wickham, ball in hand once again. Can he pick up another wicket for his side? And I always say, Timer, that hat tricks do play in cricket. And should a hat trick come now? The score will end up on 164 for seven. That would really put the cat among the pigeons. Anything is possible in this game, double O. You better believe it. Nurse advancing and driving this one straight down the ground for four. Oh. My goodness me. And talk about having good bats. And the sound of that willow was absolutely exquisite. As the ball went into the boundary for four. As she does. The score will end up on 164 for seven. That would really put the cat among the pigeons. Anything is possible in this. Three more runs for victory. We come into nurse. That one is swung. Where has it gone? 
It will run close to the boundary, into the boundary. The Skin Sixers, they are the 2024 All Ye Profit T20 champions. They've got over the line. And quite easily in the end, they have won by six wickets here at the Rice is Over. I can tell you folks, it was an exciting game. An exciting final. And again, down low, we'd like to thank all the fans for coming out and supporting a very, very well put together and organized tournament here at the Rises. Thing is possible in this. Three more rounds for victory. We come into Nurse. That one is swung. Where has it gone? It will run close to the boundary. Into the boundary. The Skin Sixers, they are the... They got home with some <laughs> nine deliveries to spare. The first team to win the competition twice, and now the first team to definitely win it three times. They're really, really going about their business. A really good franchise, the Skin Sixers. Recruiting some young players as well. We saw some... Really young cricketers coming through this franchise this year. Guys such as Hakeem Perryman, Kyle Jordan, you know, Ravon Clark, he's still a youngster coming through the, the ranks. Zaya Buffett also playing in this tournament for the first time. And of course, we had young Roach, who had a, a good tournament also with the bat. So, a really good franchise getting over the line once again to win this year's edition of the Oi Buffett T20 tournament. Really, really well done. We also want to say a special thanks to the two coaches, the head coach, Ryan Nurse, and Alric Batson, the assistant coach, their manager, Allison Nurse. Really, really doing the business for this franchise. Oh, oh, my apologies. I meant Alison Buckley. So we'll have the presentation ceremony very shortly as the organizer all your buffet sets up. Yes, folks. So another year of exciting T20 cricket here at the Rices Oval. The all your buffet T20 competition double one. I can tell you it was very, very good. Thanks to all the cricketers as well for coming out and showing your skills and showing your potential. And the fans, I can tell you, you guys appreciate the good game of cricket. Special thanks to Double O, myself, DTP, Gunsmoke. Yes, absolutely. The, 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 the resident commentators doing the job for you each and every single night. And the thing I love about this competition, Timer, is to see the youth coming through, the young players, the young talent in Barbados coming into this competition and rubbing shoulders with the bigger boys, as they say. You know, they had guys like Carlos Buffett, Kevin Stout, Ashley Nurse, you know, Dwayne Smith, Kimar Smith, the guys that represent the country. Tonight we had, you saw Kevin Wickham, the young national cricketer. You know, so to have the youngsters coming through and playing cricket, you know, alongside players of this kind of caliber, you know, it can only inspire them to, to, to go on to bigger and better things. And that's what it's all about. So kudos to the franchises for giving the, the, the younger players the opportunity to play in this competition. It's a high quality competition, really good franchises, six franchises we had this year. And I gotta say, I gotta say, um, well done to 
the all, all six teams who were part of this fantastic tournament. Yes, so as uh, the organizers get ready for the presentation ceremony, we'll have an interview with one, one or two of the players there from the Skin Sixers just in front of the pavilion by our media, media crew. So you guys can take it away whenever you're ready. So we have Jamar Slate with Trotman. He'll be interviewing Giovante the Pizza. Good night, good night to one and all. Welcome to the Rice is Over. Party on Buffett Tournament. We're here with John Giovante the Pizza. Excellent not your man. What was your plans coming into the game? That's me with just me. Just have Ovada to the innings. I uh, just want to take a strike. Uh, yes, yes, you did. Um, getting into your innings, you was sort of a bit slow, but as the innings get on, you was moving along nice and smoothly. What do you think about this knock so far for the tournament? Uh, it was well planned, uh, well measured. Uh, just waiting for the five balls. Just try to execute as long as you the game ball. Yes, you did. And then you helped your team over the line tonight. So what do you think for the tournament so far, your achievement? Uh, really, truly with all team, you know, I try my best to do me. I uh, hope the team win. We had a good camaraderie of guys and good energy throughout the uh, tournament. So it was just good work. Well, congratulations to you and your team. And excellent on your innings tonight. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Slick, right there. That was the voice of... Giovanni the Pisa coming in not out in this all important final here, getting his side the skin sixers over the line and the wonderful edition of series Oi Buffett T twenty. So as we get ready for the presentation ceremony, we'll have some awards for the teams and the players. As we get ourselves organized. I'll take this opportunity once again to say thanks to the sponsors who came on board. Making this competition the success it has been once again. And all, obviously the organizer and the organizing committee of the Oeographic T20 tournament. But we must spare a thought for the Thomas Towers Travelers. They played a good competition. They, they did get a loss or two in the preliminary rounds, but they played a really, really good semi-final. It was a last ball thriller, and they managed to get over the line. But tonight in this final, posting a really good total of 170. But the skin sisters were too good on the night. And they will have to settle for a second place, the Thomas Towers Travelers. But a good franchise, and I can assure you that that franchise will grow from strength to strength as the years go on here in this magnificent Oi Buffett T20 tournament. And we do look forward to seeing them again next year. And we come back strong.
Some of them just no want, them no want them nothing. Well, listen, better be in a bees and cues. Give me a call on my friend and his ooze. This one, I'm gonna kill like news. Can't fit, get out my shoes. No one can live without food. My can you live in just two? Yeah, hey, hey, you rise this morning. Give thanks for life. A new day for you to try yet nothing you're doing. Contribute it for life, your sky low. Cause the day pass you by soon, you'll be complaining. Say, things the right, how could it be? Nothing you apply, you've been playing. My, you, my. You're on your knees today and send it And nothing you want to achieve Welcome to cry, I just can't believe There's a second chance in the sky Oh please, do some good to die And put away your destructive attitudes Do some good to die Today make repair your future virtues Do some good to die And put away your destructive attitudes Do some good to die Prepare your future virtues on can we when we kill we serve every man separating and you know so that is fun. I am here to bring the people them together, then I try to from one to another music is the method. Yeah, no for we are up from the poor before we pop. Like a shabba say, no for grab like left one grab. No get to youth, your police was mob, and then a brag. All God isn't it like you have good to do. again and a welcome to races for the Oibra 2020 tournament 2024 edition and this tournament is made possible by small record services marks auto spears in auto parts and accessories copper steel bar blakey's bar and restaurant sugar sean enterprises fusion boutique rose gen catering delights and RB Irrigation and Plumbing. At this time, oh, that's the representative from Copper Still Bar, ANA Auto, Smalls Record Services, Sugar Sean Enterprises, RB Irrigation, and Ross Gen catering to come forward. The representative from those sponsors, could you come forward and assemble next to the, the table? So once again, representative from Copper Still Bar, representative from ANA Auto, a representative from Smalls Record Services, representative from Sugar Sean, Sugar Sean Enterprises, and a representative. Who, And also a representative from RB Irrigation and Ross Jen. So the tournament was played over a course of four weeks. We had saxophone, lots of enjoyment, and uh, certainly it was a fantastic tournament. 
However, it came down to where two teams had the final say, the battle here at Rice's today. And that was Thomas Torres Travelers and uh, Skin Sixers. And uh, certainly was a, a battle one to watch with some delightful batting and bowling and fielding. All the basics of cricket were displayed here tonight. So we're going to get down to some presentation of So we're not Jaden. We will not Jaden. So we want to get him close. So, we're going to ask, we ask the representative of small record services to come forward, also, representative from small record services, okay, so we're going to go ahead with the presentation, so we're going to go ahead. So, this year, so I'm going to ask the two teams to come forward. Thomas Stores Travelers and Skin Sixers, we ask you to assemble here in front of the presentation area. Skin Sixers and Thomas Stores Travelers, we ask you to assemble here. Are you ready to proceed with the presentation? So, okay, so first of all, we're going to start by presenting some prizes. And we're going to start with the most catches. The tournament had a lot of catches throughout this year, and some wonderful ones too. But with most catches in the tournament, the 2024 edition, five catches, it was a tie between Giovanni de Pisa and Jaden Roberts. So we ask both of them to come forward and receive their prizes. Javante DeBiza and Jaden Roberts to come forward. We ask Mr. Adrian Baffett to present this prize. Jaden Roberts and Javante De Pisa, five catches. Give them a round of applause. So next, we ask Dwayne Small to come forward, representative of, Sugar, of Small's Record Services. And he will be presenting the, the prize of the most wickets. We have some splendid bowling throughout the tournament. Most wickets. Um, the most wickets is Kimar Hart. And he took some 13 wickets. Sorry, Sugar Sean Enterprises, sorry. Sugar Sean. Keep my heart. Apologies. So give sh Keep my heart. So most runs in the tournament, we had lots of batsmen achieving lots of feats throughout the tournament. But the man 
with 294 runs, none other than Rivaldo Clark. So we're moving on. And uh, we'll move to the MVP of the tournament. And uh, we we'll ask Jaden from Rosjin Catering to come forward to present this prize. Ros the Jen, I get it right. So, scoring 294 runs, four catches, one stumping. The MVP of this year, Oye Buffett T20 tournament. 2024 edition is Rivaldo Clark. So congratulations to Rivaldo Clark. The tournament yielded lots of runs, lots of wickets and fantastic cricket in all. And we continue to know that there can only be one winner. And one runner up. So we're gonna ask Aslam to present the runner up prize and medals. Representative A in the auto. So the runners up in the 2024 edition of Oibra 2020 tournament is they are Thomas Tours Travelers. So they ask them to come forward and collect their medals. Give them a round of applause. They really played some good cricket throughout the tournament. Especially that exciting semi final. Thomas Tours Travelers, unfortunately on the losing side tonight, but they played some very good cricket throughout the tournament. So give them a round of applause, the Thomas Torres Travelers people. So we're going to ask the representative from Copper Still Bar, Copper Still Bar to come forward. Representative from Copper Still Bar. So, the winners of the Oye Brafwe T20 Tournament 2024 is none other than the Skin Sixers. And they have to come forward and collect the trophy and their medals. So you collect, and the captain and stuff come forward and collect your medals. Collect your medals.
They really played some lovely cricket. Uh, the skin sixers really showed their ability, their class in this tournament. So Ashley, don't run away. We're gonna present the ass, the captain, to come forward again. As he receives a trophy and five thousand dollars to the Skin Sixers for the winners of the 2024 edition of the Oye Buffett T20 tournament. And also, he will receive the big trophy. So congratulations to the Skin Sixers for winning this year's tournament. You can give them a round of applause. Skin Sixers, the 2024 Oye Buffett T20 Tournament Champions. So, congratulations to you. I want to say on behalf of the administration of the All You Buffet T20 tournament, we want to say a big thank you to all our sponsors who would have come and contributed to us having this tournament considerably. Smalls Record Services, Marks Auto Spares, ANA Auto Parts and Accessories, Copper Steel Bar, Blakey's, Bang Restaurant, Sugar Sean Enterprises, Fusion Boutique, Raj De Gin, Catering Delights, RB Irrigation and Plumbing. We want to thank you all for coming and giving us that support throughout the tournament. We also want to thank the Brownsman who provided a placid wicket on a nightly basis. All the commentators, the scores, the streaming people, the streaming people, and we want to thank you spectators for coming out and enjoying this lovely tournament. So once again, thank you. And we hope you continue to come. We also thank the Gladiola Sports Club for allowing us to use these facilities. So once again, thank you and good night.